the 24th of May, the year 2022. And this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. If we go to Psalm 27 and verse 4, One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. And then we go straight to the book of John, the gospel of John chapter 3. And I'm reading from verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Even the teacher of Israel was desperate to spend time with Jesus. What is it that compels people to give up all they have in order to follow after this man from Galilee? You know, I think of C.T. Studd, England's most eligible bachelor of his time. He played cricket for England in summer. He rode horses in winter. He came from a wealthy family, and yet he gave it all up so that he could follow after Jesus. He died in the Congo, having preached the gospel of Jesus Christ to the poorest of the poor. What about Eric Little? He was the Usain Bolt of his time. He came back from the Olympic Games with the gold medal, and yet he chose to go to China as a missionary for Jesus. What about King David? Even to this very day, the most popular hero of Israel to the Orthodox Jews. He had everything he wanted. He had fame, he had riches, he had power, and yet he said, basically, take it all, but give me Jesus. You know, people talk to me about their crown that they're going to receive when they get to heaven. I'm not really interested in crowns. Like David, I just want to be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Shouldn't you and I be doing the same? Taking time out, even today, to sit at the feet of Jesus and, like Nicodemus, learn from him. He will give you peace. He will give you that joy that you're looking for. He will give you that confidence that you have that there is nothing that you need to fear if Jesus Christ is in your heart. Have a wonderful day today and Jesus bless you. Goodbye.